What's going on YouTube? Hey, back again today and uh, wanted to do a quick review of a product that um, many of you probably are not aware of. I stumbled across this particular product um, about a month ago. And so one of my dilemmas and issues um, when it comes to uh, rain and mud and the elements out there when I'm on the trail is um, mud guards. And so it's it's been difficult for me to really find um, the right mud guard for my bikes. And so what I started to do is just you know go on Amazon, get some really cheap mud guards, which you know you you can spend anywhere from a couple of dollars, like five dollars for a basic mud guard just to do the job. Um, most of those are made out of just cheap plastic. Um, you put on with those elastic little zip ties, and you call it a day. Um, I did find one particular company by the name of RideGuard, and RideGuard makes some really good um, mud guards, uh, and they're probably some of the best ones that I've seen with the actual um, images on the mud guards, or or the art or graphics. Um, so I really do like those. I think they're based out of the UK. Those are more expensive. Those are going to run you on Amazon anywhere from 15 to 25 bucks each. I bought a few of those and I've already showed you those on my other videos. You can see them on my other bikes. I really don't have to go back and, and get those out for you. But um, if you if you like those, um, they're made by a company called RideGuard. And I'll put the description, a link to the description in the bottom um, for some of those ones that I have already. But they really make really cool mud guards. But the problem is, is here in Florida, it, it rains a lot during the summer. So those trails get very, very muddy. They get very grimy. They get very wet. Um, and if you saw in my one of my last videos when I took the epic out on the first ride it had rained earlier that morning it didn't even rain that hard and you saw like my bike was completely filled with mud and, and grass and and dirt and all of that because of it so um, one of the issues that I'm having is is a lot of these mud guards don't um, really protect me that well uh, the bike may not get that muddy up front and I only use a front mud guard, but the problem is, is that it kicks back up at me, and then I'm getting dirt on my shirt, on my pants, on my shorts, and um, I don't really mind getting dirty. But the problem is, is when I get back in my truck, then that dirt now smears on the leather, it smears on the interior and on the doors, and it just becomes a mess. And so I was determined to find the proper mud guard that didn't, um, that was in the right price range and just really protected but didn't look too crazy and so this is what I stumbled upon this is called the crud XL fender this is what it looks like y'all so now I know you're probably thinking well damn it's big right yeah it is a little big but that's what it's for that's the purpose it's supposed to be big so this bottom back part covers and protects the rider pretty much at all costs the front is probably the size of a regular mud guard, but it's this part that's really helping out. It also deflects the water from going back up with the way that it folds out here at the back. Now, this is very, very light, first off. I don't, I don't have a scale to weigh it, but this thing is like super light. It's just a little flimsy piece of plastic, but it's not heavy at all. Um, this isn't the type of fender that I would put on my epic or any cross-country bike I wouldn't even put it on a um, I don't know I guess you could put it on an enduro bike I would really only put this on a on a trail bike or a bike you just really don't care about too much or it's just like your your go-to bike that you don't care about messing up or getting dirty or muddy um, but again this is more protection for the rider and so the cool thing about this is is the way that it goes on to the, to the actual fork on the bike it has these very strong elastic like rubber bands but they're super super strong so there is no zip ties and it does not scratch the fork at all it also has padding on here that goes against the fork so it doesn't do any damage or scratch the paint there as well this piece is like a, just a piece of plastic and the rest of this is more of a harder plastic this is rubber though I'm sorry rubber is what I meant to say not plastic this is rubber and this is pretty much the hard plastic but it's not that hard as you can see I'm still bending it and twisting it because it's very light what I would like to do and what I'm probably going to do since I bought two of them I'm going to put these on my collar well, I already put one on the Colorado I'm going to show you in a minute and I'm going to put the other one on the Colorado back 
that I, the one that I have at home in North Carolina. But I'm probably going to paint these. I think it would be really cool to just, since it's all black, just get some spray paint or just even some, um, I don't know, some, some regular paint with a paintbrush and just actually do my own design. Or I might just fill it with stickers. I don't know yet. But the all black is cool on one, but I think I'm going to paint the other one. And so um, it's called, again, the Crud XL Fender. Now, I bought this from a company called Merlin Cycles, um, which is in the, where are they at? I think they're in the UK. And they got fast shipping. I'm going to put the link down in the website. Um, they are in huh, Buckshaw Village, Chorley. I don't even know. I don't know where this is, but it's somewhere in the UK, I believe. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I got these for $25 each. I basically, I should pay $50 for two of these. These are selling for like $50 each. Some, some people are even selling these for $60 each. Um, but if you go to Merlin Cycles, you can probably find them a lot cheaper there. Um, the cool thing is even with the packaging, they got the instructions on, back of the, on the back of the box. As you can see, it's three steps. It took me literally five minutes to actually install this thing. So it's very, very quick to install. Let me show you what the final pro product looks like. Because I know just looking at this, it looks a little crazy. So I'm going to show you on the Colorado how this looks. Bam. So as you can see on here, you have the actual straps right here that go along the fork. The padding is on this side so it protects it from any scratching of the fork. This rubber piece right here present, prevents any type of scratching um, uh, on this part. And again, you have enough coverage in the front for any mud, rain, sleet, or snow. And then look how far it goes down in the back. And look how much, look, look how much space is there between this and the tire. It's not close by any means. So you have plenty of space in there if you want to add some larger tires or larger wheels on there so yeah man um i've put a lot of upgrades in this colorado right here uh but i think i've already showed you that so um but yeah this is how it actually looks on the other side and then just from a far away standpoint it doesn't look too bad it looks like something that would go like on a dirt bike um and of course dirt bike has dirt bikes have those but um for the riding I do and for this type of bike, this is like my go-to all-around, you know, bike that I just don't, I mean, I care about it, but it's just like, hey, I, I don't care if it looks crazy on this bike, you know what I'm saying? Because this, this is where I really need it. This is the trails that I really ride that are more muddy and gritty and rainy and wet and all of that. So this is the one that I really need it on more than any other bike. And so, um, and so, yeah, that's it. I just wanted to tell you guys about it. Um, I haven't seen it, it took a lot of research to find this thing and it's not something that just pops up when you look at mudguard so i think it's really really cool looking and i think it's just going to be a great product overall um to protect for what i need it to do um still got the minions dhf the dhr2s in the back um other upgrades i've done the chester pedals i've already talked about there's the uh, cool change um uh storage in the back i got a this is actually a carbon race face uh handlebar um as well this one even though it does have a long stem i'm just going to keep this one just because this is a bike again that i'm not really trying to do any type of performance things on oh and i also added the uh race face crank boots on this one as well oh and i also upgraded to an nx um uh Damn it, I can't even think of the name of it. The crank arms. Um, the whole crank set is pretty much all SRAM NX now. It, it didn't come with this. This was something that I added on extra, and I also added a new race face uh, bottom bracket as well. Because um, with the Colorados, yeah, you definitely need to... The, the, the main thing you're going to need to switch out probably immediately... Um, the tires are going to be good. You need to switch out the crank arms or the crank set get a new bottom bracket and the levers I would switch out uh, pretty quickly as well uh, to some better levers but other than that man it's a pretty decent entry-level bike so just wanted to show you guys that particular fender 
Um, if you're looking for something that has a lot of protection, if you've been in the market for one of these, uh, definitely check these out. Um, I don't think you can go wrong with them at all. So other than that, I'll catch you guys out in the next video. Check out my other reviews on other products that I bought for Cyber Monday and Black Friday. You guys be safe. Peace.